What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find volumes of oblique cylinders, right? So oblique cylinders are just cylinders that are leaning over or slanted, okay? So let's start with this example right here. So the formula to find the volume of a cylinder or an oblique cylinder is the same. So it's just going to be V is equal to pi r squared times h. V is the volume, r is the radius, and h is the height, okay? So here we can say that the volume is going to be equal to pi times the radius. And the radius is given right here, right, as 5 feet. So we're going to plug in a 5 right there. And that's squared. And then we're going to multiply that by the height. And the height right here is given as 8 feet. All right. Now let's simplify this a little bit. So we have pi and then 5 squared. That's equal to 25, right? And then again, we're multiplying by 8. Now, if you multiply this all out, you're going to get that this is equal to approximately 628.32. And our units, we're working in feet, so the units are going to be feet cubed, all right? Remember, when we're talking about volumes, we're talking about three dimensions, so that's why our exponent is a three here. All right, so hopefully not too bad. Now, let's do one more example here. That's going to be a little bit harder because we're actually going to have to use some trig to solve this one. So here you can see we have an oblique cylinder. So we can always start at square one, which is just writing out our formula. So it's going to be the volume is equal to pi r squared times h. So let's plug in what we know so far. So we're going to have that the volume is equal to pi times the radius. In this case, what is radius? Well, here it gives us the diameter, but remember the radius is just half the diameter. So half of 12 is six, right? So this side is six and this side is six. In either case, the radius is equal to six. So let's plug in a six for the radius and that's squared and then times the height. Now here, it actually doesn't give us the height because it says this 18 meter length is from here to here, okay? That is not the same length as the height because the height is vertical, right? The height goes up and down. So 18 meters is not the height, simply the length of this slanted side. Okay, so since 18 meters is the length of this slanted side, this is also 18 meters, right? It's the exact same length right there. So this is also 18 meters. Now we're not looking for this slanted side. We're looking for the height here, which I'm gonna label as H. Okay, so as you can see, we have a right triangle here. And it gives us one of the angles, it gives us this angle as 60 degrees. So if we want to use trig in order to solve for this missing side length right here, we need to identify our three sides. The adjacent side, the opposite side, and the hypotenuse, right? So as you can see, the easiest one to identify would just be this longest side right here, the 18 meters. This is going to be the hypotenuse, okay? Uh, in relation to this angle that we're given, this 60 degrees, you can see the opposite side, right, the one that it opens up to, would be this opposite side over here, where H is, the opposite side. And so that means this last side of the triangle down here would be the adjacent side. Okay, so using this angle that we're given, 60 degrees, which trig function do we want to use? Well, we want to use one that relates the opposite side and the hypotenuse, right? Because we're given the, hypo the hypotenuse and we're, we're trying to solve for the opposite side. So we really don't care about the adjacent side right now. So the trig function that relates the opposite side to the hypotenuse would be sine, right? Because if you remember your little acronym, SOKATOA, right? So -ka toa sine relates the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So in order to solve for the height here, we're gonna say sine, right? Sine of the angle that we're using or that we're given right here, 60 degrees, is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse, right? So the opposite side we labeled as H and the hypotenuse is 18 meters. Now in order to solve for H, let's get rid of this 18 by multiplying both sides by 18. Those cancel out. So over here we get 18 times the sine of 60, which is equal to approximately 15.59. And that's equal to this side, which is just H, All right? So that's the height approximately of the triangle. And more specifically, it's the height of the cylinder. So we're gonna plug in 15.59 for the height. 
right? So then here we're going to get that pi, this is equal to pi times 6 squared, 6 squared is 36, and we're multiplying by 15.59, and if you multiply this all out, you'll get that this is equal to approximately 1,763, and the units we're working with are meters, so here we're going to get meters cubed. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.